we come, O oh Lord our God. Before thine altar, Father, thou knowest best our yearning hearts. This supplication answer. Lift up from one thy people, Lord. Bless us, O God, O Father, bless our toil. Under thy cross we stand prepared to serve thee with devotion, be it with sweat of blood or tears, or humble resignation. For we thy people are, O Lord, save us, O God, O Father, bless our toil. Today we will celebrate in the traditional rite. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we will go unto the altar of God. And to God, it gives joy to my soul. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves, that we may be found worthy to participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. For your penance for the next three nights, alongside your daily prayers, that at your convenience that you take the time to reread re one of the three readings as prescribed by the church on this 19th Sunday in the ordinary. To reread and to pray that the Holy Spirit might enlighten your mind, that you might come to a clear understanding of the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess, O Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought and word and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us God come unto you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come to me, all you that yearn for me, and be filled with my fruits. You will remember me as sweeter than honey, better to have than honeycomb. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Happy the man who takes refuge in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to who God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. 
Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this is your celebration prepared at your Son's command. Empower us to approach your altar worthily and feed us with the bread of life and the cup of gladness. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jimmy, will you please proclaim the word? Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord, take my life, for I am no better than my father. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a heart cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again, but the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him and ordered, get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank, and then strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of the God Horeba. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Thank you God. God. Today's graduate, happy the man who meditates on wisdom and reflects on knowledge. Nourish him with the bread of understanding and give him the water of learning to drink. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you are sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice and be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrifice offering to God for a fragrant aroma. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. To the victor, I shall give some of the hidden mana. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to who Saint John. Glory be to you, O Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him. And I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, 
they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not to die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. Anyone eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Then Elisha prayed and said, O Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elijah. These words are taken from the second letter, I'm sorry, the second book of King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen, amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I recently listened to the soundtrack to the movie Chariots of Fire, which was a film in 1981 based on the real events of two British runners who trained for the 1924 Summer Olympics that was held in Paris, France. The story centers around Eric Liddell, a <coughs> devout Scottish Christian who runs for the glory of God, and Harold Abrahams, an English Jew, who runs to overcome prejudice. The movie, Chariots of Fire, was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won four, including Best Picture, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Original Score for Evangelis and his electric theme, Tune. Today is the close of the 33rd Summer Olympics in France. And so, let us for a moment speak of what we mean by chariots of fire. I believe that all the participants, both men and women, who came from so many countries and participated in the Summer Olympics in Paris, France, could be described as chariots of fire. There were those who came to these Olympics from underdeveloped countries and even refugees, displaced men and women who came to compete against stronger nations that they will probably not be awarded a medal but came with fire to give they're all in representing the honor of their country. I had a chance to look at the medal count. And of course, as it stands, the United States has won more medals than any other country. At the bottom, there are approximately six countries that only won one medal and that was a bronze medal. And so, as we think about those that came from underdeveloped countries and did not have the size of a delegation as the United States and China and France and Germany, we can say that these people truly 
were in their own way chariots of fire. Again, I am reminded of the quote made by Sir John Hunt, the expedition leader of the successful 1954 expedition to Mount Everest, where he said, there is no height or depth that the spirit of man, guided by a higher spirit, cannot attain. You know, I think of the rings of the Olympics, and I feel that they are most fitting. For the rings, to me, represent unity. Having the opportunity to watch some of these Olympics, I see many different countries of men and women coming together through different ideologies and differences in government to serve the spirit, the common spirit of competition. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 9.24, do you not know that in a race all runners compete but only one receives the prize. So run that you may obtain it. So what is the connection between Paul and the Olympics? If we continue to read in his first letter to the Corinthians, we see the connection of being an Olympiad and being a Christian. Paul writes, every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable one. An imperishable one. Unlike the gold, silver, and bronze medals that are awarded to the top three athletes of each event, all Christians, both you and I, are given the opportunity of possessing not a wreath of victory, but rather a crown of righteousness, as Paul speaks in 2 Timothy 4, 7. Could we not say that to live as a Christian dedicated to follow Christ, that it takes self-control and self-sacrifice? I believe that when a person decides to follow Christ, we learn from Holy Scripture that they are a new creature. They are transformed and they are on fire with the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Think for a moment of how the lives of the apostles and others were changed when the Holy Spirit came upon them at Pentecost. I think it can be said that they were all transformed and set on fire with the Holy Spirit. Two weeks ago, I delivered a sermon in conjunction with the opening of the 33rd Summer Olympics. And I opened with the words of Paul as found in his second letter to Timothy. This letter, it should be noted, was one of the last writings of Paul, who was reflecting on his life and in the years of his ministry. When he wrote this second letter to Timothy, 
Paul was imprisoned in Rome for a second time and he wrote this letter just before his martyrdom which took place during the reign of Nero between 64 and 68 AD. Let us reflect for a moment what he said. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid upon for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally God of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God and not made of one being with the Father. Through Him all things are made for us and for our salvation. He came, he came down, down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. We give you thanks, O God. We give thanks. And we invoke your name. We declare your wondrous deeds. Receive, Father, almighty eternal God, these immaculate hosts, which we, your unworthy servants, offer to you, our living and true God, for our countless offenses and omissions, for all present here, for our nation, as well as for all faithful Christians living and dead, and for all humanity. May it be for us a means to salvation and everlasting life. Amen. Oh God, <laughs> you endured us with great dig dignity and worthiness. Through Jesus Christ, you exalted, renewed, and sanctify us. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we worthily partake of this holy oblation in which our Savior gives himself to be food for the world and in deepest truth unites himself with us. <coughs>
we offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation. In your mercy, look upon your faithful people and accept this oblation of praise, petition, and adoration for our salvation and for that of the whole world. Lord, receive us. in your sight as to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Come, sanctify our mighty, eternal God, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. I wash my hands in innocent and go about your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world. receive this offering. Most Holy Trinity, which we make in the remembrance of the Passion, Resurrection, and Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. <coughs> may they whose memories we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our benefit and that of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in thankful anticipation, we place our gifts upon your altar. Fill them with the blessings of heaven so that the sacrifice we bring may bring us closer to our salvation. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you <coughs> and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your four hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. You send us an advocate and a counselor in the person of the Holy Spirit to support us, to teach us, and to help to make us holy. Through your Holy Spirit, you give your gifts of grace in every time and season as a guide for your church. And so therefore, on this day, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, along with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God in power and might, and heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, 
which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. Today may we pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. Let us pray for world peace. May we pray most humbly for all abused and neglected children in our world, as well as all abused and neglected animals and victims of violence both here and abroad. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces both here and abroad and pray that God would return them safely unto their families. And may we also offer prayer this day for each other. And Father, for all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family <coughs> and so order our days in your peace, that we may be safe from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just separate table, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember your servants and handmaidens who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. <coughs> to these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, to light, and peace. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from me Please be seated. <coughs> Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, is also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. <coughs> mingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, Amen. that takes take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you, do not look at our sins, 
but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom for you live and reign forever and ever amen and lord jesus christ son of the living god by the will of the father and the work of the holy spirit your death and life to the world by your holy body and blood free us from all our sins and from every evil keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you who lives and reigns god forever and ever amen amen may the partaker of your body and blood the lord jesus not be cause for our judgment or condemnation though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy our saving master awaken in all of us living faith fervent love worship adoration and a holy longing through this communion make us your willing servants zealous to fulfill your holy will may it at last unite us entirely with you our lord and our god grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, for those who will not be able to receive the Eucharist sacramentally, may we offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us, excuse me, let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul to life everlasting. Amen. return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord with high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies may the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul and the life everlasting Amen Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to be come under my roof. Speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Receive 
see the barn in the blue. You see the barn in the blue. You see the barn in the blue. <coughs> The sacred banquet, memorial of the Last Supper, in which our Savior gives himself to the truth for mankind, and in the deepest truth unites himself with them. Hear our prayers have been sent this day to your majesty, that as many of us shall receive from the sacred altar, the body and blood of your Son may be filled with every blessing and grace, through the same Christ our Lord, we pray this day. Amen. We have received unto our lips, may we receive mentally, and may this temporal gift become for us an everlasting healing. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood which I have drunk, cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me, and whom these holy sacraments have nourished, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Come, eat of my food, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness, that you may live, and advance in the way of understanding. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ. As we have shared in this sacred banquet, so may we anticipate entering the eternal kingdom, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifices offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you through your mercy, may be of, excuse me, effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life, the life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light 
for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him be empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son, coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of our late departed brothers and sisters, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May light protect and shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May you go in peace and serve the Lord. Thank you. Thank you.